progressions is the topic which we are going to discuss for the session what is progressions or how do we define that in mathematical terms is the biggest question out here as we have been coming across many situations in real life of patterns for example i have a number 3 and then a number 5 and a number 7 then immediately i can say that based on 3 5 7 my next number is 9 11 13 so from the first three or four terms i can identify the fifth or sixth term which we can easily identify through a pattern therefore here to start with the topic of progressions progressions is nothing but a pattern anything which follows a pattern comes under progressions the pattern can be either for example if i take 2 2 square 2 cube then immediately i can say the next term is 2 power 4 because i can say this because i know that the first three terms are following a certain pattern therefore 2 2 2 square 2 cube 2 power 4 2 power 5 2 power 6 is how i identify the pattern so the with the minimum information given if you can identify the extended part of it is what is called a pattern let's try some practice problems in identifying the pattern then i would like to know the next term in this pattern i clearly see that when i add 4 to 1 i get 5 when i add 4 to 1 5 i get 9 when i add 4 to 9 i get 13 therefore when i add 4 to 13 that is 13 plus 4 equal to 17 is the next pattern followed by 21 25 etc so every problem need not be with the same pattern different problems come out with different pattern for example here all terms are raised to integral powers with respect to integers here each of the term is added with 4 so like this we have different patterns which follow different different sequences in identifying the whether adding of 4 or raising it to power 2 let's try some more problems for practice for example i have <coughs> how do i know the next term here so all patterns are not easy because some patterns are easy to construct but some patterns are very complex say for example with this example problem 1 3 6 10 etc so my first term is 3 and my second term here is 3 and the third term 6 and the fourth term 10 then what is the fifth term is the biggest question of the problem so what do we get in the next followed pattern identifying the pattern is very important than writing the pattern out here so what would be the next term out here what kind of a pattern does it follow is what we are going to see so let's see here as i see the first term this is 1 and as i see with the second term this is 3 which is 1 plus 2 and as i see with the third term this is 1 plus 2 plus 3 because each of the integers are added respectively in each of the term 3 plus 2 5 plus 1 6 2 plus 1 3 and 1 and finally my 10 is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 when added 4 plus 3 7 9 and 10 therefore my next term is said to follow the similar pattern with 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 so therefore my next term which has to be found will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 which gives me 15 so 15 is the next term of the pattern is how we identify so there might be various forms in mathematics or the mathematical properties through which patterns exist it is very important to identify the exact pattern which the mathematical terms follow in this case being 1 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 plus 3 etc 15 and then comes 21 etc is how we identify the pattern here now let's come to the most important pattern in mathematics called the fibonacci sequence which is still a mysterious fact 
in mathematics. So let's see what the Fibonacci sequence says in its own terms. To start with 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, etc. So what kind of a pattern is this and what are the next terms in the pattern is what we are going to identify here. This sequence is called Fibonacci sequence, one of the most important sequence in mathematics, connecting the golden ratio with it. So how do we identify the pattern here? Here it has been 1, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 plus 3, etc. And here it has been adding of 4 each time. And here it has been raising of the power 2 each time the sequence proceeds further. Then how do we identify the pattern here is the biggest question for the problem. So in this case, as I see here, when I take the first two terms, when I add the two terms, 0 plus 1 is 1. So when I add the first two terms, it gives me the next term. And when I add these two terms, it gives me the next term. That is, the term, the next term is obtained by adding the previous two successive terms. That is, as I see here, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5. Therefore, we can guess the next term being 3 plus 5. Therefore, I get this as 3 plus 5, which is 8 is the next term and then finally the next term will be 5 plus 8 which is 13 etc so this kind of a sequence where the next term is the sum of the previous two terms successively is called a fibonacci sequence the terms being 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 etc is called a fibonacci sequence so this kind of different types of sequences is what we are going to discuss in this today's session of progressions. The other word for progressions is following of a pattern. So let's see the different problems followed with different patterns out here.